Like its complex and surprising flavor, the history of the Tahitian melon squash is also quite mysterious. It's not a melon at all, and its connection to Tahiti is, to the best of our knowledge, just word of mouth. But this big butternut type squash, sweet enough to eat raw, helped fuel the early heirloom seeds movement. Nurseryman Stephen Spangler was one of the first people to grow Tahitian melon squash in the U.S., and he had a huge role in making it commercially available in the 1970s. Stephen is a rock star in the exotic fruit world. For the past 34 years, he and his mother, Jeanette, have owned Exotica Nursery, a six-acre tropical fruit farm in Vista, California. There, he lovingly tends thousands of varieties from passion fruit and pomegranates to sapote and ice cream bean. He grows over 200 kinds of mangoes alone. Each year, Stephen brings a panoply of rare fruits to the National Heirloom Exposition. But the Tahitian melon squash made his Exotica Seed Company, now Exotica Nursery, famous. He got the seeds in the early 1970s from Phil Arena, an organic grower in Escondido. Phil got them from a man named Renan Prevost, who had worked importing bananas to the U.S. in the 1920s. Prevost was an avid organic gardener, plant breeder, and all-around health nut who lived to 101. He claimed that a sailor from Tahiti gave him the seeds in the 1940s. Stephen started selling the seeds to Thompson and Morgan Seedhouse in Britain in 1976. They loved the melon squash so much that they featured it in a large ad on the second page of their catalog. Stephen and his farmer pal Phil Arena grew five acres of the squash in Lucerne Valley on the edge of the Mojave Desert. When the British Seed Company bought the seeds, they asked Stephen to describe the flavor and use of this unusual vegetable. Stephen, a longtime raw foods enthusiast, told them that he loved to eat it raw like a melon. This was the inspiration for the name melon squash. Although the squash can be eaten raw, we've found that it tastes best when cooked. Baker Creek founder Jer Gettle remembers reading of the Tahitian melon squash in the 1980s Gurney seed catalogs. It helped inspire his dreams of exotic seeds and places and a love of cultures and their foods. So is this squash really from Tahiti? That remains a mystery. Squash is native to the Americas, and some butternut type squash may have been introduced to Tahiti and become a local staple. It's possible that this variety was once popular in Tahiti and has fallen out of favor. In any case, it's just simply delightful. The deep orange flesh is richly fragrant and so sweet that the juice caramelizes when baked. It's exquisite in pies, soups, or desserts. The fruit is large, often growing to 40 pounds or more, though 12 to 20 pounds is more common and will keep up to nine months in storage. It's perfect for those looking for an adaptable, easy to grow, and downright delicious winter squash.